In this tutorial we are going to look at how to create custom shortcuts um, also known as quick keys. So each tool in SketchUp can be assigned a letter of the keyboard and why we do this is to be able to access the tools quicker. So for example if I was to press L on my keyboard you can see that it accesses the line tool. If I was to type R on my keyboard it accesses the rectangle tool and under the tools drop down it shows you what each tool has assigned to it so the rotate tool for example has alt r so I could type alt r and I'm into the ro rotate tool if I press s for select it takes me to the select tool so next what we're going to do is go and learn how to create a custom shortcut so under window preferences we're going to go into here and type in the filter um, hide and we're going to find hide rest of model then in the add shortcut field type in H and then click on the plus button and it says that um, another tool is using the H button so we're going to overwrite that and make H hide rest of model for view component edit hide similar components we're going to use alt H and then click on the plus button another one we can type in the filter is x-ray x hyphen ray and we can assign x for x-ray and then hit the plus button so that's just an example of how you can create a shortcut and I'll show you briefly what those shortcuts were that we created another thing you can do before we close down the dialog is um, we've provided on the website a shortcuts file so these are my shortcuts that I created and you can then import them into your system um, so if you click on the import button you'll need to go find the shortcuts that you saved and find the SketchUp QuickKeys.dat file then click on import and you can see here that it's overriding some of the existing keys so we need to say yes uh, and just keep saying yes until you're finished okay and that's done you now have all of my quick keys um, another thing you can do is if you don't, uh, aren't quite happy with my quick keys you can modify them then you can export them yourself and share them around the office so a good idea is if you do have a server um, to put the quick key file on the server so that any new person or anyone in the office can just simply go and grab and import that dat file and have the same shared quick keys once you're happy press OK and we're just going to quickly look at the few shortcuts that we created so if I was to draw a rectangle get the push pull tool I've now created a little shape. I'm going to press S on my keyboard to use the select tool. Then I'm going to press X on my keyboard for X-ray and that just toggles on X-ray. Press it again, it toggles it off. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a group of this object. So I'm going to, with the select tool, drag a box around it from left to right. Right click on it and make group then I'm going to use the move tool so M for move and I want to make a copy of this so if I click to begin I'm now moving it but to make a move and copy I need to press control after the move then I can click to finish and it's now made a copy now press S again on your keyboard for select um, and if you haven't assigned S for select yet you can use the spacebar then I'm going to double click on the group to edit the group and you can see that we can still see the other object and this can be annoying at times because you want to be able to work on this face over here for example so the quick key that I set up was hide rest of model so if I press H on my keyboard it hides the rest of the model and I can now access this surface really easily um, 
and if I then want to bring back the other surface I can then press H again and it brings it back. Uh, another good thing about hide rest of model is that it can actually speed up your workflow because when you're working with SketchUp and you've got such a large file for example um, you can isolate an individual object and modify it while hiding everything else and yeah it is much quicker